Good afternoon, it's Alan from SpinX Vitality. In today's video, we're going to incorporate how Brazilian Jiu Jitsu has changed my life and how it can change yours because we never give up and we look for other opportunities. In summary, what I'm studying at RMBJJ in Delray Beach is the professor is constantly emphasizing the benefits of Jiu Jitsu in life. And here's the summation. We need to learn how to be comfortable in uncomfortable situations. So how does that relate to someone who doesn't do Jiu Jitsu or martial arts or a formalized training program? As an example, in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu, I'm on the bottom, my training partner is on top of me, chest to chest, we're at a 90 degree angle. He or she is controlling my position. I really can move, I really can't move. The example I'll give is when training at RMBJJ in Delray Beach, Florida, the professor continually says before each role, learn to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. Here we go. Say it again for my own benefit. I need to learn to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation. As an example, I'm training jujitsu. I'm on the bottom. My training partner's on top. It's gonna be hard for me to escape. So I'm uncomfortable. However, don't panic. Don't freak out. We know what to do. Learn to be comfortable first. Gather your thoughts, gather your position, protect your vulnerable areas, and then you're comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, and then you can learn and practice your escapes. Don't worry. Life is about putting yourself, at least my life is, finding myself in uncomfortable situations and not freaking out. The training is here. If I say to myself, I'm on the mat, I'm getting beat up, I'm getting ready to be submitted, what can I do to make myself more comfortable so I can escape? That is the goal. Again, don't freak out. So how does this turn into a life experience? Well, here you go, it happened to me this weekend. As part of my program, I love to self-publish books on Amazon. I'm using artificial intelligence to help me generate the content. I feed it what I want, ask the questions what I want, certain outcomes, and then it comes back to me. So I did that for a very famous person in the matchmaking business who is very public. Turns out that their brand is super, 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 that's three supers, super, 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 that's four super, exclusive. There's no way that that person's clients would want to associate a self-published book on Amazon by me. Therefore, it may actually harm the brand. So what I did is I thought and thought and thought, how would my jujitsu training, learning to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, help me get past this? I don't want to waste the time I put into the book. I can write a book in 15 hours. That's basically three days, five hours a day. Not a problem. But the content was not for public consuming under that brand name. So what did I do? Ah, I went through a whole dissertation in my mind. How do I take that problem, which is a big problem, and turn it into an opportunity. There you go. Take a problem in life, turn it into an opportunity using jujitsu. Now as an example, if a lot of jujitsu practitioners are watching this, I'm 70 years old, I'm not doing a flying armbar, I'm not doing a flying, I'm not doing a flying triangle, I'm gonna probably pull guard or do an ankle pick take the person down, and then work my game. So here's what I did. There's many opportunities. Once you get that person down, something's going to be exposed. A shoulder lock, Americana. Another shoulder lock, a Kimura. Straighten the arm out for an arm bar. When the arm is straightened out, you have a front wrist lock, 
and you have a reverse wrist lock. So what do we do? We got one position, Americana, and turned it into four. Kimura, arm bar, front wrist lock, rear wrist lock. That's what I did. I went, oh my God, Alan, do jujitsu on this book that you can't use the matchmaker's name and take it off. Genius. So what I did is I took the document, I erased the matchmaker's name, and for recognition, I put the matchmaker in an interview with Sally, the client, and the matchmaker, the matchmaker. I didn't put that person's name down. I'm not gonna say it on this video because it doesn't serve any purpose. Wow, all those 15 hours of work on the books that I've written under the matchmaker's umbrella with the matchmaker's name, I just took it off and used the matchmaker. So there you go. If you understand what I just said, you understand jujitsu. Learn to be comfortable in an uncomfortable situation, what I just did. I freaked out. I have 25 hours of work, 30 hours of work. I'm not gonna waste it. I'm going to tweak it to my advantage. In the gym, I get the Americana, it's not working. I go for the Kimura. My partner straightens the arm out, it becomes an arm bar. They rotate their thumb in a way that I can't get the arm bar, no problem. Front wrist lock, rear wrist lock. There you go. This is how training Brazilian Jiu Jitsu for close to two decades has opened my mind to the world of business problems and relationships. Now you're probably thinking, what is this guy talking about? Then this is not for you. This sport, this activity, this video is not for you. Bye-bye. Those of you who do train jujitsu, those of you who think out of the box, learn to take a bad situation, your training partners on top of you, and turn it into a positive situation, meaning relax, you're uncomfortable, get comfortable, work your attack and your offense. There you go. Stay tuned for more live action and a lot of the interactions I'm using now because at my age, I'm learning to be super duper smart while doing jujitsu and life. Stay tuned for more. Yay.